Do you want to power up all your filmmaking gear such as camera, monitor, wireless transmitter, slider, you name it with only one single battery? Then you have come to right video. This is 99 watt per hour Vmon very compact and affordable battery by moment. This can power up all your equipment and the most important thing about this Vmon battery is that you can travel with it without any problem and restriction. The restriction as per Federal Aviation Administration are for lithium ion batteries rated above 100 watts per hour. Anything about that limit is restricted. If you're a filmmaker, you should definitely have at least one of these batteries. So stay with me till end of the video. I will show you guys how you can power up all your equipment and you do need to carry lots of batteries. In this video, I will show you guys how this 99 watt V1 battery can turn on my camera, monitor, wireless transmitter, my other chrome slider one with head one and also an 80 watt LED light. Thanks to guys on Moment for sending me this V-Mount battery. However, this is not sponsored video. This will be my honest and unbiased review. First, let me tell you guys the specification of this battery. This battery is equipped with eight Samsung 35E battery course, achieving battery efficiency of over 97% and a charging cycle of more than 3000 times. It's a palm sized V-Mount battery with a large energy of 99 watt per hour and has maximum performance that can be taken on a plane. So there will not be any restriction to carry this batch while you're traveling by plane. It weighs only 550 grams with a thickness of 4.7 centimeter. It's protected against overcharging, deep charging, overcurrent, and also overheating. So it's safe and durable. This battery can support devices with a current level of 15 amp and 200 watts. During the shooting, its power is sufficient to support multiple devices up to 200 watts at the same time. It has two detect port, one on the left and one on the right. Also has two USB port on the top and on the left there's also a button which is indicating the power level. It's showing how much battery is left. This is my uh, cinema rig. I'm mostly using this when I'm going on a, any commercial shoot. To power up this setup, I need two Sony NPF batteries to power up my monitor. I need one more Sony NPF battery to power up my wireless transmitter. I need at least one uh, Sony battery to power up my camera. Then I need the Sony charger for charging my Sony camera battery and at least two of these uh, Sony NPF style batteries to charge up these Sony NPF style batteries. With this battery, I don't need all these. With only one V-mount battery, I can power up this whole camera rig. First, let me put this Vmon battery at the back of my rig. Then I need three cables to power up my camera, monitor, and wireless transmitter. For my camera, I'm using DTAP to Sony uh, dummy battery. To power up my monitor, I use this DTAP cable. This can go at the back of my monitor. Then to power up my camera, I need the tap to a Sony uh, dummy battery, this one. Since with my disc rack, I'm using Moment transmitter. This is a nice wireless transmitter also by Moment. Uh, this can be also powered up with only USB cable. So this is a USB-C cable I can power up this wireless transmitter with only one cable now let me turn this on turn this on uh, if you can see it's booting up the setup is completed ready and everything has been powered up with only one Vmon battery. So I don't need all these batteries and chargers to carry with myself. But you are not limited to only two data port. Let's power up all the equipment which mostly I'm carrying with me when I'm on a shoot. My camera which needs Sony NPFZ battery. My monitor which need two uh, Sony NPF style batteries. Uh, a wireless transmitter which required one more uh, Sony NPF style battery. My other chrome slider one which need 
one uh, Canon uh, LPE6 battery slider one head which also need one Canon LPE6 battery my LED light which need two more soon in beef style batteries and then I need one adapter to convert uh, Sony in beef style battery power to AC uh, adapter which will turn on my LED light also two more charger for charging my Sony in beef style batteries another charger for charging my camera battery one more charger to charge Canon uh, LPE6 battery for my slider so these are all the batteries in charger which I need to turn on this camera rig along with this slider and use one of my uh, 80 watt LED light the way to use only one Vmon battery with all your setup is a DTAP splitter this DTAP splitter can convert one DTAP port into four DTAP I already attached my uh, camera rig to my slider and head one uh, I will show you how this one Vmon battery can replace all these uh, chargers and battery and by the way uh, the power bank which I'm using is 3000 uh, milliamp power bank uh, I'm always traveling with this before I was always taking this with myself but now I can use this Vmon battery also as a power bank so anyways let me show you how this one Vmon battery can replace all these battery let me put this uh, Vmon clip on my tripod to hold my Vmon battery slide in the Vmon battery I will attach this uh, DTAP splitter to one side of uh, Vmon battery it's attached so I have uh, four ports here and one another port on another side this is a dummy battery DTAP to Sony dummy battery so it was it will go to one of the ports then there's another port I will attach this to power up my monitor uh, I have two more DTAP to Canon dummy batteries to power up my slider one with head one one dummy battery for head one and another dummy battery for slider one I will attach these two dummy batteries to a uh, DTAP splitter right now it can turn on everything the only thing which is left is to turn on my light so this is one another DTAP uh, cable it's uh, a longer one it's almost one meter I'm using this one for my light let me bring this light here and to show you guys that it can power up also my uh, 80 watt LED light so this is uh, my 80 watt uh, um, LED light I attach this to one of the port of uh, Vmon battery let me first turn this on and then turn my camera with monitor okay and uh, okay uh, as you can see this only one v-mount battery turn on my uh, uh, edelcorn slider one head one my camera rig which include uh, the camera with um, a monitor and also a powerful LED light I use this whole setup uh, 180 watt uh, LED key light my camera rig which include my camera uh, monitor slider one with head one uh, which uh, required uh, lots of power uh, I use the whole setup on complete motion just for testing this the slider was on continuous motion and the panning the panning head was also on motion with 20% of this LED light the light was on 20% right now it's on 3% if I make it 20 this is 20% so it's uh, it's very bright light let me put it back to uh, 20% uh, 1% right now I'm also using one of these light this is on two person right now it's uh, very bright okay anyways uh, this whole setup uh, worked for me for about uh, 90 minutes and when I finished after 90 minutes I checked the um, battery indication which you can check on the left side when you press this 
it was not completely uh, discharged there was still two light two bottom lights who were on so it means this can give you about with all these setup and all these uh, the, this much power consumption it's at least giving you minimum of 90 minutes which is a lot um, and another good thing is that if you have two of these batteries when one is out of charge you can quickly swap it and charge another one and put it on charge and swap and put another one uh, if you have a uh, vmon a uh, charger then you can charge this with vmon uh, charger if you don't have vmon charger then i will recommend you buy one dtap charger dtap charger is very cheap it's not very expensive you can find down about 30 to 40 euro and it can charge this in 40 50 minutes full charge let me turn this off because the light uh, has a little noise there's one another uh, advantage of only using one battery if you're using multiple battery if one battery die then you mostly you you will not realize it it happened to me uh, uh, some weeks ago i was uh, shooting a three camera shot one was overhead main camera and another was was uh, a side camera uh, when i finished the shooting uh, i came to my uh, pc to dump all the footage i realized the overhead shot and the side shot was uh, I had only 30% of the footage and the reason was during my shooting uh, the overhead camera and side camera batteries died but I didn't realize it. This is one scenario if you have only one battery if one battery died you quickly know that you're running out of battery so you can uh, quickly recharge your battery or swap the battery. And another advantage is sometimes when we travel with all these batteries there are possibility that sometimes we forget take one battery which is important battery like I was uh, on a shoot I went to Italy and I lost uh, I left uh, one of these batteries my camera battery but then uh, when I reached here I realized that oh I bring all the batteries but I didn't bring my uh, camera battery I went to shop and purchase it so these are the headache which sometimes give you if you have only one battery you don't need to worry about too many chargers to pack all the charges chargers and to confirm that you uh, pack all your batteries if you have, if you're using one battery so there's not any headache and you don't need to worry about anything you don't need to worry to check every time or if you check if you if you took all the chargers and batteries and stuff and you have enough space and pack them properly just grab this one battery with its charger and put it on your bag and you're good to go okay that's it guys uh, let's warp it out is it is this battery wood yes definitely it would it, it really would and everyone should have at least one of this battery if you guys have any question regarding this whole setup or this battery please write on the comments below i will try to answer your question if you're considering buying one then i will put its amazon link on the description of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your subscription is giving me more energy to make more videos like this and like the video and press the bell notification in order to be notified on my upcoming video and stay safe